Okay, so we got beasts. We've got... Oh, we have Maligos and he's new. Gelling's broken. Maligos is new. And then we have Nazoth and Nazoth is fun. I think I just want to play more new Maligos though. Um, but I really like Nazoth. Fish is, fish is fun. Um, I think this character will take a lot of getting used to to be perfect at, because re-rolling stuff in the shop and in your on your own board are both... There's a lot you can do with that, and you have to be really adaptable. This is the best. And then we want to re-roll this one into a better unit. That's good. We could re-roll this one into a better unit, too. I mean, that's probably worth. Um, do we want to save this in the shop? I think so. These are both good. So there is some merit to keeping the cat, and maybe I should have. Bacon's cool. We can sell bacon next turn and buy two. The battle is really raging out there. So I want to buy this one and then roll it into something useful. Okay. That's probably better than Hyena. The, the other option is rolling what's in the shop, the better stuff. Interesting. Oh, we should have rolled this first. We could buy another one of him. I think we'll just let it roll again. So hitting Alley Cat on one is sick, and then rolling probably the baby cat into something else. And then you could roll the shop and unlock it, maybe. But I mean this is just so much rolling, it's sick. And then you can do this with like three star units too. You can just grab it and then keep rolling it and hope to get a good one. So maybe I should have leveled up. Really their we want to sell this and buy two. This is a good one to buy. This is a good one to buy because I can roll it. I don't want this unit as it is, so I, I like rolling it once. It's fine. It's not the I like rolling this once. Oh, it's a paragon. You don't want to triple that unit, though. It's good to get some in play. Okay, so we got the one gem for playing it as battle cry, and then we get two more for selling it, which is cool. Like we're getting a lot of value out of the hero power. It's just really, really hard to use it efficiently, efficiently and correctly. You know, Mutinous just has so many stats. Pain. Luckily, we tie him somehow. The 2-1 demon did work. We'd like to find a triple. Okay, Cat's really good. And then Bacon's fine. So I should be re-rolling the baby cat, not the grown-up cat. Because it ruins our triple opportunities. Okay, that's sick. I don't think we want to... Yeah. But I think we'll roll the, the this cat too. Try to triple that at some point. Or now. Okay. And then we'll get this for the pair. I don't want to discover a 2-drop, so we're going to play weak this turn on board. You don't get much control over when that triples, but like... I, I mean, it made my board weaker, but I can't say no to that. That was sick. I didn't buy a single Tide Caller, and I have a triple tri Tide Caller. And then we can level up twice next turn. We could discover a 4-drop. And go for a uh, grubber. Or we could wait a turn and discover a five drop, and then if it sucks, we could keep rolling it until we get a good one. Keep up the momentum, friend. I think going for six is too greedy. This start's pretty good. Selfless Hero's pretty good on that guy. Uh, if we went right there, he wouldn't have gotten a Divine Shield. We only take three damage, it's not too bad. 
Holding the triple kind of sucks, but fine. So I kind of like these because we can sell them for a lot. So we could roll this twice if we wanted to. I could have used blood gems on that. There's probably a lot of merit in that. Um, I think next turn I want to level up and play my guy. I think we're probably rolling the fiendish servant. Maybe we can get a third bacon. But we could roll the shop and then freeze it. Pretty bad. Um, I mean, I think since we didn't use them yet, like if we'd used these last turn on that, I think it would have been good. But since we didn't, I think we just wait again. I don't think we freeze or anything. And I think we just level with discover a five. It's, when it comes to fours, we do have a couple good ones. So there's some merit in that. But if we discover a 5 drop, there's some good ones. And I can't wait for 6. And then if it really sucks, we can just spam reroll on it. But. We're going to take a lot of damage this turn. A little bit rough on that. And. Oof. But we get a, we get a 5 drop on turn 6, which is pretty good. Ooh, and there's a macaw. You like my macaw. We could sell these two and buy macaw. Brand's pretty good. We could run Void Lord a couple of turns, but I think Brand is just the play. Really good. And then what do we do here? This is two blood gems if we buy it. We could just put a ton of gems on Bran if we wanted to. Or I could roll once. Um, rolling once is fine. So this has a decent battle cry. Bran plus Cadgar is a triple with any token we find, and there's two tokens, so I think we probably want the Cadgar. Um, so we lock, and we reroll this. Oh, it stays frozen. Interesting. Okay. We could put some gems on that. I'm playing too slow. We're going to die if we don't go faster. I should have rerolled uh, this twice because we just want to hit one of the two token units and then we get another triple. But that might be too greedy. And by might, I mean almost certainly is. We have to go fast. I'm really bad at uh, random comps, I would say. Oof. We should have killed at least one of those. That sucked that we hit them that way. And this is too much damage, so we're, we're just dead. I can't get a brand comp to come together quick enough. We roll this twice and try to get a token. There it is. We'll go for a 6 drop here. Liza. I only have one minion type for a Melgadon. That's probably a Liza. And then we could transfer one of these into a 1 drop. Um, I mean, I think we're going to run Eliza for the rest of the game here, so we can just... Buffer. But if we found an, a gem, like saving these would be nice. Um, so what do we want to roll here? We probably just want to see another 4 drop. It's really good, we can freeze it. No. So Cadgar has energy with this. It's kind of neat. I don't think we're really too favored in. A Cthune matchup, unfortunately. But we did get a huge Eliza this turn, and now we're level 5. We can try. Make something happen. It is only turn 7. Pretty nice. That's a big Eliza for turn 7. 
You would hit the wrong unit. Okay, should be fine. So, there's a good chance of that not being a tie, but I'm glad with it being a tie. Most likely to be a tie. Okay, we got gold grepper and we had two golden things, but I don't think we care. I think we're going to go Exodia comp with hitting this. Now we need the one drop pirate. And we need Baron. I think we roll for the one drop pirate here. But it might be... Might be a little ambitious. So triple Cadgar is really good. Yeah, we're, we're Exodia comp if we can figure out how to do it. But we might die before we get it. Kind of problem. Um, I don't have enough pirates for this to search for pirates, do I? Good. I think we do this, and then we sell these two. And we search for pirates. And we hit them. And now we're pirate comp. This is a really bad taunt for pirate comp, unfortunately. So he attacks first, hits this, and then it fills my board. So that's an issue. Um, and if we sell Bran, it fills it even more. I guess we have to have that go first. This is really ugly, huh? Hmm. If I sell this, then I just have to YOLO he doesn't hit one of the units. She will. I think I have to put this first, and that's really awkward. But, I mean, we have the comp. We just have to sell this and play a Baron, and then we're, like, broken and get an Argus for that. It's just, it's, I mean, it'd be really strong turn 8. If this just didn't have Reborn, which is kind of funny, we'd be so strong. Oh, he gets to go first. Okay. Right. But we definitely should have ordered differently. Ah, we suck. I forgot about him going first twice, so he would kill enough of them that it would have been fine. Shoot. Mm, their order on the attacks was terrible too. But our life is huge, so maybe it's good enough to keep us alive. We could have destroyed him if we played that better. We still had a huge chance of winning. He had to snipe Cadgar to win there, I think. So this has to go for sure. Um, and then we need Baron, so we'll try to find it with our rerolls here. We don't go to 6 unless we're looking for more Elizas. Which we are, but um, I think the Baron's more important, and the Argus. Argus is so good. A good tactical choice. And the Baron. Oh my gosh, we hit it. We don't need two Arguses. So we just want to Argus one of these. My for Argus. And then we play Baron. And then we ditch Bran. We run another Cadgar. Sick. Does this work? And now Cadgar summons three times, so that'll be four times. So this dies and it summons one, two, three. But the, the second Cadgar doesn't actually work, right? this dies, it'll summon three, and it'll summon them twice. It would summon four if I had room, so if I got rid of this, it would summon four twice, which would be eight. But I'd rather this is on the board, and then this has to go, I think. I really wish I knew how to play Exodia comp, but... I don't know what we can do to make ourselves stronger other than triple Eliza and triple Baron. There's only room for two. I, get, I think we actually sell that Cadgar. It makes us worse. Oh wait, no, it's working. Because it attacks before it summons. Never mind. So this is it. So as long as they don't have really weak units, I think this comp just destroys most things. Now we need triple Eliza really, really bad. And then we need some blood gems. So we gotta level, try to find triple Eliza. 
We don't triple that, we don't want it. So this turn was mostly spent just leveling. Up doesn't buff. We want to buff this with two blood gems. So that um one even is good, but two would be best. I think this works. So as long as they don't run zap, we're probably fine, right? Ghoul would be bad for us. I mean, I think we got the comp. We're just looking for more of these. Like, this this going twice, I'm convinced he's actually pretty good. I don't think people know how to play him necessarily immediately, but I'm convinced he's pretty good. Pretty good hero, just with that alone. Has a lot of stats. We'll see if I did the comp right. That summons one, two, three, four, five, and then it got stuck. So end it. Six. I don't know, man. Oh, he hit the wrong one too. He just gets destroyed. I wonder if taunting both is better. I think you just taunt one, not both. So people are going to be smart and notice that I'm running this comp and they're going to try to counter it. See if they're good enough to do it. Oh my gosh, they're still summoning. <laughs> this is the Baron, so that was the Cadgars. All of that attacks for the second one was the Cadgar. And this is the Baron. With the cat cars. But we still had a full full board at the end. We actually did more damage to him at the end than we would have if he played no units. Kinda of funny. But Exodia comp on turn like eight or nine or whatever we had was pretty cool. So if we can get a blood gem for that, we'd do it. If we can triple Baron, we'd do it. Um so actually looking for fives is good because faceless is a five as well. This would give us pirates, which means, yeah, pirates is probably fine because Eliza's likely to be there. We'd probably do that. And this is a five, so we roll it. I think fives are the best to roll because we could get faceless. So we're only looking for Baron or Eliza. Another cad guy is interesting. I don't think we want to double triple cad. Keep up the momentum, we just I think we just run this as is and don't get any stronger. See how it works. I think he has enough attack on his shields that we'll we'll be fine. So it summons one, two, three, four. Dude, it just keeps going. Oh, it broke. We don't get to see how many it actually summoned because it needs to die or we don't have board space. And then it stops. And then that summons a full board. Yep. <laughs> so again, we did more damage than we would have if he hadn't killed anything. And now we're against the last person. He goes first for sure. Oh boy, we hit it. Are you kidding me? In the opening shop. Okay. Now we're really looking for a blood gem so Zap doesn't counter us. I guess we play this and try to get an Eliza with it twice. That's a blood gem actually. We'll just take that. Another cat car. 
I used four gold, so I get my blood gems, so he can't snipe Baron anymore. And then we roll this. And if it's an Eliza, I don't know what we do. It's a zap. So zap's not going to work against this guy. So, I mean, he's beasts, so maybe he's strong enough to beat us, but he does guarantee attack first. I, th I don't know if this procs before his second attack goes off, and that's really important. That kind of determines a lot, but... Now we have the Golden Baron, the Golden Cadgar, and Extra Cadgar, and Eliza. So the only thing we could do to make ourselves stronger pretty much is, like, get a Golden Eliza. But he guarantee attacks first, and he has Cleave, which is really scary. Oh gosh. I need mine to go off before his second attack. It does. Okay. So then we're probably fine. But two... I, I, we should just go off, like, forever here. Unless one of them gets big enough that it won't die when it hits something of his, but it, I don't think we'll get to that point. All of his stuff has a lot of stats. And this counters him because he doesn't even get the cleave. So this is the second round from the first guy, and we get three rounds from the first guy because of Baron. So that's pretty sick. So we're still going. That's that very first one still summoning more. How many procs has it gotten? 17? 18? So it summoned 18. And this one would have summoned 18 as well, I think. Oh gosh, now he gets to try to counter me. What's he gonna change? <laughs> uh, um, so we could put a blood gem on this so he can't snipe it with zap. Um, we could put a blood gem on this. Here, I think it's worth buying a blood gem. Or we could try to triple Eliza. Hmm. Probably try to triple Eliza. I'll buy the blood gem for funsies. So now his zap will target this or this. Oh, he cleaves first. That actually is pretty good. I don't think it's good enough. How does that work? I don't know how that works with their death rattles, but I don't think it's going to work for him because all my things attack before his bird attacks. So he doesn't get the bird proc. It does mess up my spawning, but I I don't think it's good enough. We hit the Exodia comp really, really early. But, I mean, we were only at 10 HP. But I think we're on the second guy's spawns now, and he's spawning like half as many because we don't have board space. But, I mean, I think we just have enough stats, it doesn't really matter. This comp's so, so dumb. I like it when it's a meme, but when it's actually good, it's, it's kind of weird. Hit that Hydra, please! <laughs> We're still going. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah, the only thing you could do here is have Golden Eliza. Because four brands is sick, and then three barons is insane. There you go. So, these guys were 1 1s when they spawned. They've been buffed 18, 19 times. Our board is stronger than it was if he just AFK'd. Like, star wise and stat wise by, by far. Like, Baron was like a th 3 attack minion, and now it's got 40. 42 attack. We just absolutely murdered everybody. Every fight after we got the, the comp online. That was so cool. Never gotten a real Exodia game before. Good stuff.